Where do you learn how to buy a house? This is one purchase that you want to get right. Paul Hammond, sales representative of Remax Escarpment Realty, is with us today with some tips for the first time home buyer. This is Daily Web TV. When buying your first home, it can be a bit scary. And to help us with that is Paul from Remax Escarpment Realty. Paul, when I bought my first home, I was overwhelmed. I was stressed out. How can you, as a realtor, help me with, with relieving that stress? Well, that's a great question. I um, do specialize in first-time home buyers. And one of the things that I do to make it uh, better for people when they're buying their first home is uh, educating them on the whole process of how, how the process is going to work uh, what things to expect, uh, what things uh, that we may have to do if certain things don't work out a certain way. So definitely it's educating them on what the unknown is and how it's going to all come down in the end. So. Okay, so I'm a first time home buyer. I've, I've come to you to help me out. What is the process of, of finding that perfect home? The process is important because it sets up the buying sequence of events and this process is really based on uh, pre-qualification. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I get my uh, potential clients to uh, go and meet with a mortgage specialist who I usually refer to and uh, they find out at that point exactly how much money uh, they are usually allowed to spend on a mortgage. And then the second part of that is uh, collecting the proper information. So I have a special meeting with them. I sit down with them. I put them at ease uh, and then go through a, a series of questions asking them exactly what it is they're looking for. And okay, so what are some typical uh, questions that you would ask me? Well, what I'd like to know from, uh, from my standpoint in searching for them is, uh, you know, do they have a preference of uh, location, what area of a particular city they want to be in. Things such as shopping, uh, school systems, uh, healthcare facilities. Mm -hmm. So you're really going to take my lifestyle into, into effect when choosing the right area. Definitely, and that's part of the information collection process. So you have my answers to your questions, you know what my lifestyle is, you know what I'm looking for. What next? Well, once we do that, then what I do is I go through a process of searching for homes that might meet your expectations and the criteria that we've established. And I do that uh, by going through the MLS. Uh, the MLS has a, a wide range of information available to us that allows us to uh, search and find properties that meet those criteria. The other thing too is it comes back to experience. Uh, you know, we sell homes day in and day out and uh, I've particularly lived in this area for a long time and uh, I know no good areas. I know uh, some features and benefits of other areas that may uh, fit perfectly with your lifestyle. What about educating a client? I, I, as I mentioned, it's overwhelming when you're buying a new home. How can you educate that home buyer? Well, there's a lot of different uh, information available. Uh, my website has a tremendous amount of resources for that. Uh, there's things uh, such as you know buying assistance. Uh, I have uh, the offer to purchase form on my website, so you can go in and you can look at that and see what different information is available and it kind of uh, just puts you a little bit at ease because it's not something that you're just kind of thrown at you at the last minute and you don't know anything about. What are some major mistakes that a home buyer will make? Well, I think, uh, you know, I, I alluded to it a little bit earlier. I think uh, the pre-qualification is really important because uh, we have to know going in what, what value of property we can look at. Mm -hmm. So that's extremely important. Um, another mistake that people make is that they don't spend the, the money on a, on a home inspection when they do find a home. And home inspections, although they're not really expensive, uh, they do provide a, a, an unbelievable resource of material that the average home buyer is not going to pick up on. Um, sometimes home, uh, uh, home buyers um, don't utilize the service of a realtor and that's extremely important because the realtor uh, has so much information and comparable information and history of that home and the area that it really affects the decision in some cases on okay. those homes. Where can somebody go to get more information on, on buying a home? That's a great question and uh, one of the best places to go to is my website at paulhammond.ca. Um, there's also uh, lots of information on the internet with regards to real estate and Paul Hammond as well. Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you very much. For more information on purchasing the perfect first home for you, check out his website. I'm Tracy Bazo, and you've been watching Daily Web TV.